So one common question we get on ESDE is how do you take games that come along with multiple files and get them to display as single entries in ESDE? So in this video, we're going to walk through how to change your game list from looking like this to looking like this. Essentially display a single entry for every game. Let's get started. So the first question I want to help answer is when will a game have multiple files? And there's two primary answers to this. The first is if the game originally came out on CD or DVD media. And in this case, you'll typically see bin, queue, image, or ISO files. And the second is if a game originally came out on disk media. And there's far too many file formats to list out here. But suffice to say, if you use an Amiga or a Commodore 64, you know what these are. So the next question to answer, is your game a single disk or a multi-disk game? And this is super important to know for the next part of your adventure in this video. So let's start by defining those terms. A single disc game well, came out on a single disc. And the thing that usually determines that though, is when you're looking at your files, if you have a single queue file and then one or many bins for a given game, that usually means it's a single disc game. Now, multi-disc games are similar, but they obviously came out on multiple discs. The big difference here is that instead of a single queue file, you're going to see multiple queue files. So in the case of Final Fantasy VII, this game would have three queue files, one for each disc, and then multiple bin files associated to those. It's super important to know the difference because in the next part of this video, I'm going to ask you to make a choice, and that choice will determine what you learn next. So with the information you have so far, I'm going to ask you to make your first choice to start your adventure. Is your game a single disc game or a multi-disc game? Select an option below, and remember, choose wisely.